we have demonstrated the added value in terms of safety for patients and productivity for SPD and OR. Just to give you some concrete key figures, if we are talking about the reassembly process, we are talking about a 20% time savings during this process, up to 57% for spine trace. Because again, as I told you, more the kit is complex, more we will provide the productivity gains. And basically, we know that when we are talking about spine trays from Medtronic, for example, this is a tricky part of the job every single day to manage when you have to make sure the reassembly process of such trays. Millions of patients undergo surgical procedures every single day. Working behind the scenes are the technicians who go largely unknown even to the patients whose lives are so dramatically impacted by their work. This is Beyond Clean, the global voice of sterile processing. Join us as we explore this hidden world and introduce you to the unsung heroes driving the advancement of our profession. And now, your hosts, Hank Balch, Justin Poulin and Michael Matthews. Beyond Clean. Today on Beyond Clean, we have a special vendor spotlight featuring Jeffrey Bronick, CEO of ATH Medical. Jeffrey was born in the north of France and is in charge of driving the global strategy for ATH Medical. Jeffrey has his Master's of Science in Management with a specialty in corporate finance. He also has an innovative degree at Stanford University and attained his MBA in Financial Analysis Session from Laval University in Canada. Jeffrey has experience in chartered accountancy, auditing and consulting, and has been with ATH Medical since 2013. So Hank, today we hear a lot about tracking systems. We've had some previous episodes of Beyond Clean where we talk about this type of technology, but today we're going to talk about a specific technology and one that is emerging in the marketplace to really increase efficiency and productivity and ensuring the accuracy and completeness of trays. That's right, Justin. And you know, the Beyond Clean podcast began as a platform to highlight innovation and disruption. And a particular company product that we'll be discussing today, I think really highlights that innovative spirit to see existing challenges in the industry, attempt to creatively solve them. And, and unlike many of the existing systems that we've seen before, they take things a little bit further. So I'm excited to get into the interview today with Jeffrey. All right. Well, ATH Medical is going to be at Isham. You can find them at booth number 759. You can follow them on Instagram at ATH underscore medical. Search for ATH Medical on LinkedIn if you'd like to see them there. And you can go to their website, ATHmedical.com. You can subscribe to Beyond Clean on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, and Spotify, or search for Beyond Clean on your favorite podcast application. We can also be heard on the Sterile Education app available on iTunes and Android. Don't forget to visit Beyond Clean at Isham. Uh, we will be at booth number 256, and we're hosting our second annual myth-busting panel discussion event on Monday night. Register now at beyondclean.net as space is limited. Follow Beyond Clean on Twitter at beyondcleaninfo, facebook.com slash beyondcleanpodcast, linkedin.com slash company slash beyondclean. Our Instagram is beyondcleanpodcast, and you can send us an email to info at beyondclean.net. We'll be back with Jeffrey Bronix after a short break. Beyond Clean. Joining us now on this vendor spotlight is Jeffrey Bronix, CEO of ATH Medical. And Jeffrey, we're really looking forward to doing this interview with you today. So thank you for coming on the show. Oh, thank you, Justin, for this opportunity to talk about ATH Medical on your Beyond Clean podcast. Yeah, and you know, I think. To get started, I know not necessarily everybody, especially a large majority of our listeners in the United States, may not be familiar with ATH Medical, although they may be, depending on how much research they've done on their own. But I'd love for you to just tell them more about the company and sort of the goals of the organization. Uh, for sure. In a few words about ATH, we are a French innovative company, member of the Sterimed Group. And we are specialized in surgical device traceability. We are born in 2013 from conversion complaints between medical device manufacturers and hospitals. 
Tari, so you mentioned it was born out of complaints. Could you go into what some of those complaints were and the cause behind them, why folks were complaining on both sides? So when I'm talking about complaints, in fact, I was thinking to, you know, loan sets and consignment management, which is basically a huge topic for ASPD and OR in terms of organization and coordination. And that's why we are dedicated to sterile implants and reusable surgical devices traceability. So can you speak to the various types of technologies that you've created then to answer these issues? So therefore, we have developed several technologies based on RFID for implants, laser marking for irregular instruments, and a vision algorithm for complex trays to manage. Now, going back to these overarching industry challenges that you've mentioned, and of course, this vendor spotlight is going to focus on one of them in particular, but your company, ATH Medical, has come out with a very disruptive solution called Antitrack. As we get into this, it would be helpful to give us a little background on what Antitrack is and what it does. For sure. So when you visit an SPD, one of the most sensitive achievements is to make sure the completeness, the conformity of each single tray. And that point is important, whatever the complexity of the tray, whatever the type of surgery, and even whatever the status of the tray. And even so, the UDI, you know, this uh, new standard based on an individual traceability process would help to improve the workflow. I can tell you that it won't be a miraculous solution as it is so time-consuming. So time-consuming, and that point is a direct background from European hospital for years. Because, you know, more the tray is complex, more the reassembly process is sensitive, with a high risk of mistake and, for sure, a high risk of delay. And from my point of view, it's a real question of risk management. And that's why we have developed this NC track device, which is basically an IT equipment, let's say a kind of SPD computer. And this SPD computer includes our patented vision algorithm to manage complex trace. Yeah, it is a huge challenge. And you mentioned UDI, and I'm just going to tell everybody what that is in case they're not aware, but it's unique device identification. It's a global effort, and there's a whole lot of components to it, but these challenges are going to not get easier. They're going to become more difficult as hospitals try to comply with UDI regulation. And so not only is it making sure that all the trays are standardized and they conform to the count sheets and what's supposed to be in there and to reduce the error rates and variability and, and missing instruments. But there are other things that are implicated. And I think your technology, you're about to give us an overview and tell us a lot more about how it works and how it can meet some of those challenges. So let's talk about ANSI Track as that specific product and what it can do for the end users at hospitals in the United States and abroad as well in terms of helping them increase their efficiency and some of the other features and benefits. The UDI is definitely a good system to improve the workflow, but definitely time consuming for the organization. The basic starting point where we're thinking the NC Track device. So NC Track is an efficient traceability workstation that improves the reassembly of loan sets, consignments, and I would say more globally, all complex trays which are complicated to manage regarding the content. Because as, as I tell you, more the tray is complex, more the reassembly is sensitive. And it is the huge part of the job to manage. So it means that thanks to this technology, thanks to the NC track, we make sure the recognition of each single instrument with or without data matrix. So when you say data matrix, then can you explain a little bit more about what that is for users who may not have been using that technology before? Yes, in fact, the data matrix is the standard which is used to manage the UDI. So basically, you have to put a data matrix code on each single instrument. So this is quite complicated to manage in terms of global organization. And as I told you, it is a pure question of risk management. The idea through ANSI track 
is to provide a data matrix, but also a no data matrix solution. So when I'm talking about without data matrix, I mean that based on physical features of an instrument, such as the size or the shape, or algorithm knows how to recognize an instrument and also to confirm to the operator the location of each single instrument for the dictated trade. And, you know, for listeners who are used to other types of instrument tracking systems, even the barcode systems, for instance, you know, we understand tracing instruments and trays through that, but you're really taking this to a completely different level when you're speaking to the ability to recognize an instrument only by its shape. So how does the system actually do that? You're absolutely right. First of all, we before to use the recognition functionality, I would say that we need to teach the system. And we call this step the learning process. So during the learning process, and thanks to several sensors which are embedded into the RC track, we can create for each single instrument a kind of digital fingerprint. So at the end of the day, the RC track is able to tell us what is this instrument, to link this instrument to a tray, to link several trays to a kit, to confirm the location of each instrument for a tray, and for sure the most important, to locate missing instruments. And still, with or without data matrix, thanks to this digital fingerprint, and in less than half a second per instrument, which is basically a huge performance. And so instrument level identification, obviously that's a game changer all by itself, but in the answer track technology, you can actually do more. Can you talk about that? Uh, Yes, we have recently launched a new functionality which allows hospitals to use a vision algorithm to control and recognize the whole tray at once. And at once is the tricky part. It means that just to check the tray at once, the whole tray, we are able to locate missing instruments faster than ever. It means that thanks to this functionality, no need to check instrument per instrument with the system. The system would check the picture of the whole tray, and based on this picture, we will be able to suggest the missing instruments. And in terms of organization between the ASPD and the OR, it could be a massive added value. I know we met a year or two at the National ISHM Convention here in the U.S., and I remember walking by your booth and I saw some loaner instruments and trays on the booth. What struck me immediately with this technology was, as a sterile processing technician, even if we know instrumentation very, very well, it's typically the instruments that the hospitals own, the clamps, the scissors, the retractors, we know those. But because of the complexity and the increasing updates to vendor inventory or loaner inventory, it can be very difficult to know what all those pieces are. So you're really trusting the vendor has reset the tray appropriately, or you're just assuming that everything that should be there is in there. And so the tremendous opportunity with AnswerTrack is to bridge that gap of knowledge, these frontline sterile processing technicians, to be able to know now what should go into their loaner trays, even if they don't know the type of instrument it is, the name of the instrument, because of this tray level technology, it will recommend, as you said, what may be missing to complete the tray. Uh, You get the point, Hank. It is a question of complexity and status. Loan set, consignment, and for sure, more the kit is complex, more we will provide the productivity gain and patient safety. All right, Jeffrey. So I think the next step for anybody who's interested they would immediately say, this sounds fantastic, definitely increases efficiency. How hard is it for me to get this off the ground? What's it going to take for me to put this into place at my hospital? Is this a technology that sounds great, but then is so hard to implement? And I have a feeling you've got the answers to that. And we'd just like you to talk about the implementation timeline. How long does it take to get this up and running? It's really easy. As I told you, and it tracks like a standard computer. So basically, everybody able to use a computer should be able to use an NC track. NC track is a ready to use system supplied with an integrated touch screen. So you just have to launch the embedded NC track app and 
here we go. You can start to create instrument database with fingerprints, pictures, and so on. You can even plug, if you want, barcode scanners, desktop printers, thermal printers, marking machines, and all the other IT peripherals that you need to make your job. The other part is that you can even use this smart computer to work on your current SPD software. You know, no need to use a specific computer to manage your workflow on your SPD software and then to move to the NC track to manage the Lancet supply chain. You can use and work on your standard current SPD software directly and the NC track workstation because we build this system like a real smart computer for SPD. And that's why we call the NC track the traceability workstation because NC track is an all in one system for SPD. And this is also the second added value that we thought at the beginning in terms of, you know, organization for operator. Yeah, and that's a good description of the unit itself. And I know because we're on an audio recording, the audience may not know what the system looks like, but it is a different look of a tracking system because it has a platform, it has a display, it obviously has the camera at the top on an arm. And so it really is a unit in and of itself that could go into your loaner processing table if you have that dedicated in your workflow or our particular area of the department at your loaner vendor trays would be flowing through to keep that separated from everything else that you may be doing in the space. It is a very important point to distinguish it maybe just from another type of tracking system that it's really its own unique station in and of itself. As we transition out of the implementation part of it, then obviously we would want to talk about your current success. And even though this may be a new product for many Americans, your business history and reach is really global. So can you speak to some of that? From the beginning of this adventure, we have been awarded several times for the NC Track technology because we have demonstrated with several famous teaching hospitals in France, Switzerland, Japan, and other areas, including, you know, Christine Denis, who is the president of the WFHSS. We have demonstrated the added value in terms of safety for patients and productivity for SPD and OR. Just to give you some concrete key figures, if we are talking about the reassembly process, we are talking about a 20% time savings during this process, up to 57% for spine trace. Because again, as I told you, more the kit is complex, more we will provide the productivity gains. And basically, we know that when we are talking about spine trays from Medtronic, for example, this is a tricky part of the job every single day to manage when you have to make sure the reassembly process of such trays. A second key figure, if we have to talk about the reception process, you know, when you receive a new tray and you have to make the reception, create the booklet and so on, for this process, we are talking about a 50% time saving, up to 80% if you have to compare with a manual reception process. So as I told you, that is a massive productivity gain. And also, you mentioned Christine Dennis, and you referenced WFHSS, and I just wanted to let the listeners know that they can go to WFHSS.com. It's the World Federation for hospital sterilization sciences. So obviously, Christine, very involved at a very high level and definitely great work that you've done with her there as well. I would say that Christine pushed her to be better. Can you describe what that partnership was like? I know you've worked very closely with Christine, but when you say she pushed you to be better, can you describe some ways that that happened? Because I think oftentimes... Working in a partnership between a vendor and a hospital or a healthcare provider, it's really important on this show that we reinforce what that looks like, what a healthy partnership is. And so when you say that she pushed you, can you describe that? When we decided to develop the AC track technology, we had no idea about the success. So first of all, for us, the plan was to find a strong hospital able to help us to think, to confirm, 
to assess the future of the system and the system itself, the technology. So we decided to work with Christine because Christine Denis is the head of the CSSD of the Lille University Hospital, which is basically one of the biggest European hospitals. And her CSSD manages something like 600 lancets per year, which is huge. Honestly, for us, it was a good starting point in terms of supply chain coordination between ORs and SPD. Basically, the question of the loan set and consignment management was also a sensitive topic at Lille Hospital because missing instrument, organization, time to allocate for the team to manage uh, the unconformities of the loan sets. And so we define, let's say, the specification of the, the, the system, the NRC track system with Christine. We develop the system and we assess the system with Christine before to launch the NRC track and the market. That's fantastic, Jeffrey. And I know that that's really important because one of the things we want to bring to the listeners today is really you have a presence in the United States, but a very focused effort going on right now to expand your offerings in the United States. I know you're looking for hospital partners. You're offering great benefits to hospitals who contact you today to try the ANSI track product. And Isham is right around the corner. It's just a couple of weeks away. I know you're going to be at booth number 759, which actually isn't going to be all that far away from the Beyond Clean booth at Isham either. So that's great. They can contact you to learn more either by email or phone. The email is info at athmedical.com. If they wanted to follow you on social media, they could find you on Instagram at ATH underscore medical, and they can search ATH medical on LinkedIn. But you have a very special offering related to your appearance on this vendor spotlight with Beyond Clean, and that's a free trial of ANSI track. And so to enter that, there's going to be a drawing. It's already set up in terms of a survey that anybody who wants to enter the drawing, they can go to your website and complete it. When they go to athmedical.com, the free trial contest and giveaway is listed right on the home page. They can click the link that says, try your luck, complete our survey. It's a short survey. It'll only take a few minutes to complete, but then they can win a 90 day free trial of the ANSI track system. I don't know if you want to add anything there, but this is a pretty exciting offering as you continue to grow and expand into the United States. The only point that I would like to add is see you all in Isham and don't hesitate to come on a bus to try the system. Excellent. So the way that that's going to work, eligibility is limited to hospitals located in the United States of America. And the drawing is going to happen right at Isham on Tuesday, April 30th at their booth. Go see ATH Medical booth number 759. They're going to hold the drawing at 930 in the morning so you can get a chance to see the technology. You can talk to the team, the ATH Medical and ANSI track team and be there when they draw who's going to win the free trial of ANSI track. Again, go to athmedical.com to complete that survey. And we will put all the social media links as well as a direct link to the survey that you can complete to enter the drawing in the show notes on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, and Stitcher. Jeffrey, this was very informative, and I wanted to thank you for coming on and telling us a lot more about your ANSI track system, which is bringing really revolutionary technology to the market. Thank you, Justin. Thank you all, and see you in Isham. That was Jeffrey Bronick, CEO of ATH Medical. And Hank, this is pretty revolutionary technology. It certainly would ensure the accuracy and completeness of trays in what I would say record time comparative to standard processes today. Yeah, Justin, there's a lot of buzz around machine learning out there in all industries, but still processing more and more, we're hearing about it. And to see a unit such as the Antitrack unit come out 
with the ability to learn trays, but not just trays, learn these complicated loaner trays that there's this tremendous gap in knowledge there for sterile processing technicians. I think it's a, a terrific step in the right direction to get us more traceability, more transparency, and of course, more accuracy at the end of the line so that patients are not delayed and there's no issues when we get into the operating room. Yeah, and what a great opportunity for hospitals in the United States to get a chance to try out this technology for 90 days for free. Make sure if you're going to the Isham Annual Conference and Expo that you visit the ATH Medical booth number 759 and see the ANSI track technology in play. You can follow them on Instagram, ATH underscore medical, LinkedIn, search for ATH Medical, and then you can complete the survey by going to athmedical.com and they'll be selecting the winner on Tuesday morning at their Isham booth. Again, number 759, they're going to hold that drawing at 930 in the morning. So make sure you're there to see if you win. That's going to do it for this week's show. As a reminder, you can help support us by subscribing to Beyond Clean on iTunes or Stitcher and Google Play and Spotify. Simply search for Beyond Clean Podcast. We'd certainly appreciate a rating and a review because your feedback is important to the show. And if you have any topics that you'd like us to cover on a future episode, or if you'd like to share a picture anonymously on our Instagram page, just send an email to info at beyondclean.net. On behalf of Hank and myself, thank you for listening to another Vendor Spotlight with Beyond Clean.